jesteśmy odpowiedzialni lokalnie, globalnie, społecznie. Dlatego na tym festiwalu e, jesteśmy odpowiedzialni również za naturę, jesteśmy eko, e, promujemy postawy proekologiczne, organizujemy warsztaty dla dzieci, budujemy instrumenty ze śmieci, e, zbieramy nakrętki plastikowe po to tylko, aby uwrażliwiać na tę tematykę e, nas wszystkich, naszą publiczność, ale także mamy dwie niezwykłe propozycje programowe. Rekwiem dla umierającej planety, jaskinia zapomnianych snów, Wspaniała muzyka Ernsta Reisigera z międzynarodowym składem artystów, Mola Syla z Senegalu, chór z Sardyni, Concordu de Orsini, wspaniały dźwięk improwizującej jazzowej wiolonczeli i kościelne chóry kapeli krakowiency. Jest nieprawdopodobny muzyczny fresk opowiadający o naszej białej, błękitnej, odległej planecie. A z drugiej strony nieprawdopodobny dokument islandzki Dreamland, lidera, charyzmatycznego lidera kolektywu Bedroom Community, który z Nadią Sirotą przywożą do nas nieprawdopodobny projekt, elektroniczna muzyka nałożona na symfoniczne brzmienia do filmu, który opowiada o eksploatacji zasobów naturalnych na Islandii. Muzyka, która jednocześnie jest protestem, muzyka, która jest muzyką alternatywną, muzyką, której właściwe piękno jesteśmy w stanie ocenić dopiero z połączeniem, w połączeniu z zapierającym dek w piersiach obrazem. In music, the most important is the experience. When you have experience, I think you can play with everybody. <laughs> yeah, because I'm growing also uh, uh, in Senegal, also to play also with different musicians. And in Senegal, we have lot of different uh, dialects, lot of different language, lot of different culture in, only in Senegal. And all this information, when you have that, I think that help to can play with everybody. I, I noticed that uh, you deprive yourself in the in, in the final editing process of lots of possibilities that you didn't think of before. If you are so precise, if you plan this ahead so much, so it's much nicer to produce music for a film production with the idea of the, the of what the director is after and what the subject matter is. In Cave, uh, uh, Werner uh, showed me his, uh, his handheld camera uh, um, footage of the first visit in the cave, so the, which was not the shooting he was doing, which is not, this is not part of the film. It was just to get an impression where he was going to shoot. So I tried to deliver the music as, as I would love to hear it myself. So, but then there is all these variables. 
that uh, we, we really make, and I'm, I'm involved also uh, together with my CD producer, with uh, uh, my publisher, to, to, we do that together, to mix the music analog and to only work with volume to, and, uh, and to give a certain level. And, uh, but then you have cinemas that have like compressors and top volume and uh, so you get sometimes the music back uh, not the way you intended it to be. Usually louder than I meant it to be. But it's, I cannot judge if that's, uh, if that's only Werner. Werner likes it loud. He likes it loud. He likes it in your face. The music. Dreamland actually presented a perfect opportunity to, to compose music that um, would sort of, you know, be a big part of the movie, but also could be assist on its own. own and, and I think that's, that's satisfying if, if the music has an existence without the film. Obviously, they're meant to support each other, and I think they do that. But um, but the freedom that I got from from the directors, from the producers of, of Greenland was um, literally, you know, we, we're all telling the same story, but um, and it's about the same message. But you know, I, my way and, and they have theirs, and, and sort of where that meets is work between me and the editor was. Uh, very close in the sense that that um, I kept sort of giving uh, little musical ideas to them, so they they could they try to edit things to to see if the music was going in the right direction, and so what the rhythm of the editing, like the shots, would be. And um, of course, like you say, the a documentary can completely change. And I think from my involvement until the final final version of the film it was like almost like watching like five different films or something because you can change it so much in the editing um, and and choose which story you're gonna, like which angle you're gonna tell the story from um, probably even more than in a film where you have a script and then you shoot the scenes and then you kind of assemble them um, the uh, work of the editor is, is still very creative but um, 
is, is maybe following a narrative that is already set up. So I, I think that, um, you know, it's a, editors seem to like to work to me, like most editors that I know about, they, they um, edit to music. And for me, it was important to get my music in there as early as possible. So they would be editing to my music and not to uh, temp music, which is often, sometimes can be sort of, then people can get very like used to hearing that temp music and, and it might not be the music that you want to write. So it might be a bad situation to be then asked to recreate something that is. So we never had that situation actually.